friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another baking with braised friends. And I haven't done one of these bad boys in years. Oh my gosh, for a really long time. So this is my best friend and sister, Lindsay Hughes. Hello. And she is joining me today. Also don't even know the last time that we filmed a video on my channel. Yeah, it's been a long time and I've been waiting for this moment. <laughs> okay. To star in this series. And uh, we're very excited. We're going to be making snickerdoodles today. I've been making these. This will be my third, no, my fourth time making this recipe. First time, you guys know, it was total flop. I'll put the photo on the screen. Oh, Big. yeah. Why did that happen? I had just like way too much sugar and not enough flour. And I thought, you know, it'll be okay. It wasn't okay. So we have perfected this recipe and we're doing it today for you all. And we're just going to get right into it, okay? So um, I'll show you the ingredients you need. You're gonna need eggs, salt, sugar, flour, cinnamon, vanilla extract, cream of tartar, baking soda, and butter. Woohoo! So first you have to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. We're doing it right now. It's happening. And we're also gonna get out the electric mixer. You don't have to have one of these, but I'd say it's definitely very, very helpful. Otherwise, you have to do a lot of stuff with your hands. And I mean, the, I think the first time that I made them, although it wasn't that great, I didn't have my mixer, so. Whatever. And then it turned out a flop, so. Yeah, please There's use a mixer if you can find one anywhere. You have white mixer? Mm-hmm. Why not yellow mixer? Um, I didn't ask for a yellow one. Huh? Shock. <laughs> this one will go with every kitchen I ever go to. That's true. That's why. For this, you're gonna need your paddle attachment for the mixer, so just throw that bad boy on. Not the whipping one, okay? Not to be mistaken. No whip. And I can't take credit for this recipe either. I got it off of geniuskitchen.com. So what we're gonna do is start off with butter, one and a half cups sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and two eggs in your bowl, okay? Get to it. Come over. Let's show the people. One generous cup and one generous half cup. Look at this freaking milk carton of cane sugar. She is large and in charge. So you need um, a cup of butter here and we're gonna, you know, obviously take off the wrapping and then put them in here and melt it for about 30 seconds before you put it in here because if it's refrigerated, then it's gonna be a lot harder to If it's to too mix cold, it. it's gonna be really chunky butter and that's bad. And it just takes so much longer to mix when it's like that. One teaspoon vanilla extract. When I was little, I used to always smell this and be like, oh my God. So good. Will you get high from it? No. You can get drunk from yeah, it. You can definitely get drunk from but that it. Would, that seems disgusting. Too. Yeah. One time, I mean, when I was little, I was like, and like I tasted it, and I was just like, oh, I never want to do that. Again. Uh, One egg. All right. Um, Did you do both eggs? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Our butter has exited the microwave, and now she's entering the mixing bowl. Entering bowl. Frick yeah, that's what I like to see. Now you're just gonna lock your mixer and then turn it on like the lowest setting. And it's just gonna do that for a little while. Oh, this is already looking amazing. The butter is perfectly whipped in there. Oh my God, these are gonna be so fluffy and gorgeous. Oh, that looks awesome. Whoa. And while we're doing this, get another bowl here for our dry ingredients. Mm -hmm. So flour is two and three fourths a cup. Oh, good. All right, so we do one. One. If you can count, you can bake. <laughs> Very true. Two, two. Three of the one fourth. Oh, two and three fourths. Very specific. Don't do three. Two and three fourths. Hey, Tina. We're making some freaking snickerdoodles. We're having a baking party. And it's looking good. So, ma'am, we are going to need, for cream of tartar, two teaspoons. This is a generous one, so we'll do a slightly less generous one. Two teaspoons, babe? Mm -hmm. A little bit less filled. Perfect. Mm -hmm. One teaspoon of baking soda. Oh. Alright, now whisk this shit together. That's not really that necessary because you're just going to put it in the mixer anyways. Right now? But, yeah. And so you just do this slow, the slow pour, okay? The slow pour. I think that's good for now, yeah, let's settle. I love watching the dry mix in with the wet. Oh shit, I put a bunch on the side. Nobody even told me. Wait, really? Why didn't you tell me I was pouring a bunch on the side? Oh my gosh, there's a lot over there. I didn't even notice. It's because the bowl is so wide mouthed. Get a freaking smaller mouth next time, you stupid bowl. Fucking big mouth. I've done this the last time too. I see, yeah. She knows what's going on. 
down here. Also, I cleaned the countertops yesterday, so don't even yell at me in the comments. This ain't, this ain't her first rodeo. So this is all you need for the batter, all of those ingredients mixed together in here. And then on the side, you're gonna get a little bowl together and put in cinnamon and sugar. For dipping the little dough balls? Yeah, for rolling the balls. Now we're gonna do this shit ahead of time this time. Chill your cookie sheet, 15 Whoa. minutes. You also do the same thing to the dough. You have to chill the dough with the cookie sheet and stuff. So we're just gonna put all of this into the bowl, get it nice and done in there. Now if you have a friend with you, you can give them the lollipop to lick. Yes! Freaking got it! Wow. That is a rich batter. Yeah, it's just like sugar cookie dough. And then just take your um, mate dough and just chill it in your fridge for about uh, 15 minutes. See you in a sec. All right, folks. Um, the dough has chilled itself, and this is what you're gonna do next with clean hands. I already cleaned mine with my lavender soap. Hands smell great, super clean, super awesome. Um, you're gonna wanna put about three tablespoons of sugar and maybe like two tablespoons of cinnamon and mix it together in a bowl. And I eyeball it, you know? That's what I normally do. But you're gonna start off with your dough. You're gonna roll her into a nice ball here. This is way too big. You need about half that. You roll your dough into a ball and then you just kinda take it for a dip in here and you dip it around. Take it for a around. dip? Yeah. You dip it in the sugar coating and then you plop it so about like a one inch little ball yeah mm -hmm. launching fuck i have some brown sugar in here too just this is just um, for fun for fun we yeah. don't discriminate with our sugars we do okay. not we put in all the sugars yeah like that far apart so we're gonna do three rows of four cookies on our cookie sheet you can't see the cookie sheet yet but you will in the future okay i think maybe two of us could be over here just doing the damn thing i think it would be faster this is a very good zone yeah, it's so good. It's like not sticky. That's good. Get a load of these bad boys. This is some gorgeous work. So now you're just gonna kind of hand flatten them because why not? This doesn't say to do it in the recipe. I just do it because otherwise they kind of get puffy and I kind of like them more like flattened out like that, you know? Those look gorgeous. And they will look even more gorgeous coming out of this damn oven. Mm. So we're gonna put them in, bake them at 350 for nine minutes. The recipe says 10 minutes, total lie, nine. Anybody in the comments let us know why the dough needs to be chilled and why the pans need to be chilled. Please. Cause we don't freaking know. Someone alert us. Our second batch is done, and we still have enough for, I don't know, like, not enough, a whole other batch, but definitely like half, mm -hmm. at least six more cookies. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, so we'll be doing more after that. But for now, we're waiting for the other ones to get out, and then we're gonna put these ones in. All right, the first batch of doodles are done. Also, shout out to whoever tweeted me this um, baking mitt, mm -hmm. because it's the funniest thing ever. So good. Dropping a new recipe on your ass. So I'm gonna get my doodles out. Ooh. Whoa, they're stunning. Do you think they're definitely done? Mm -hmm. And then we're putting the next one in for a whopping nine minutes. Okay. You guessed it. These ones are gonna be like the softest of all time. Yeah. They bake more when they come out, you yeah. know, because they're still really hot. This is wicked. Check these freaking doodles out. Those they're looking gorgeous. incredible. Oh, I'm gonna take a nice sampling. Get this on the camera. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Wow. They're like the perfect level of baked. Yeah, material. I need to bring one of these to Finley. I'll be right back. You indulge if you want to, Matt. It's just me and you. Oh, these are really hot. It smells so good. The doodles were a hit with the man upstairs. I really got that so ready there. It's a future I can see. That's so ready, so mysterious to me. That's the way that. It's a future I can see. That's always so, so mysterious to me. Yeah. Yep, that's me. I haven't sung that song in a few years. Oh, these ones did go into each other just a little bit. Oh, those ones got big. Ow. Why did I 
do that. I like moved the, the fucking pan with my hand. Stupid, stupid, stupid. These ones are a bit larger than our original ones. But as you can see with the original ones, they kind of cool down. Like if you get puffier ones, they kind of cool down into like a ripple of sorts. Oh shit. This batch is very cinnamony. Come mm -hmm. along, my own cinnamon. Oh, they look stunning. Okay, okay I'm gonna have to hold this down. Those okay. ones look like I burnt myself last time like a damn fool. Okay. Well, all right. That's freaking it. Not only are these incredible doodles, they're easy as frig. So, I mean, I have so many cookies here and we've already eaten like six or something. So the yield is a lot and it's even more than I would say the recipe states, but it's totally worth it. I mean, you got cookies for days. I'm probably gonna bring some of these over to my neighbors and just, you really? know. That's so nice. I think it's a good idea. And then That's I will so be good. liked in the community <laughs> and then I can overturn the whole town. <laughs> What if it just ended there? Oh my god. <laughs> How would you describe your first time tasting this cookie? Okay, they were absolutely flawlessly baked. Like, I thought maybe they needed a little bit more time, but they I was wrong. They cook more because on the that's plate. How you, yeah, that's how you like over bake them. So it was absolutely just pillowy. It was delightful. It was gorgeous. It was an experience. Please make these. It's actually very easy. This whole process took us like less than an hour, I think. Yeah, and the kitchen's clean. The kitchen's clean. So this is also the most important part, is to clean up after your damn selves, okay? Because who else is gonna do it for you? Your sister? No. She might help. I mean, Who's gonna do it for you? Your mom? No. She's she gonna get, get mad. mad at you if you leave her for that. So this has been Baking with Briss Friends, uh, Snickerdoodle Edition. Doodle party. <laughs> Baking with Breast Friends is doodle party. Doodle party edition. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Um, thank you so much for being on the show today. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Subscribe to Lindsay's channel if you're not already as well. I will link that down below. Um, you better. <laughs> and on that note, leave me a comment if you want me to do a uh, lemon bar video because I'm thinking about that maybe for the next baking or cooking videos, whatever recipes you want me to do. Okay. This all being said, uh, I love you so very much. And ring the notifications bell if you haven't already. Do it. Just okay. hit that little bell. Yeah, so then you're notified when I upload next. And until the next upload, stay smiling. Bye, guys. Stay smiling. I'm taking Lindsay to the damn airport. <laughs> I make the coffee if you cook bacon. I haven't had a lot to eat. I like it black now.